Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of inverse trigonometric functions. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that the expression sine inverse of x the whole square minus cos inverse of x the whole square is equal to a and further it is telling us x is between 0 and 1 a is not equal to 0 then the value is asked to us for the expression 2x squared minus 1 so we need to figure out what is the answer for the question given to us and if i talk about the answer choices that are present here it is cos of 4a by pi second sine of 2a by pi third option cos of 2a by pi and the last option sine of 4a by pi so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us let's see this so i have been told here first of all that a is sine inverse of x the whole square minus cos inverse of x the whole square so if i try to solve this we know a square minus b square i can simplify that as a plus b into a minus b so i get the understanding here that it is sine inverse of x plus cos inverse of x into sine inverse of x minus cos inverse of x so that's the whole thing now further if i try to solve this let's understand what the sine inverse of x plus cos inverse of x becomes and sine inverse of x minus cos inverse of x becomes. so if i try to write let's say sine inverse x is alpha <coughs> and if i say cos inverse of x is let's say beta so from here i get x is sin alpha and from here i understand x is also cos beta so once i have both the left hand sides as equal as x i can equate the right hand sides as well so sin alpha is equal to cos beta that gives you sin alpha is equal to cos beta i can write that as sin of 90 minus beta so cos theta we know it is sin of 90 minus theta if I equate this, I get alpha is 90 minus beta and from there I get alpha plus beta is 90. So alpha basically becomes sine inverse of x, beta becomes cos inverse of x and that is equal to 90 degree which is pi by 2 degrees. So I get sine inverse of x plus cos inverse of x as pi by 2. So A basically becomes pi by 2 into sine inverse of x here i can write that from the expression as pi by 2 minus cos inverse of x so you get pi by 2 minus cos inverse of x minus cos inverse of x so you get a as pi by 2 into pi by 2 minus 2 times cos inverse of x so you have this expression entirely for a now once i have this entire expression for a let's see further how can i write this and solve this so i know one idea from the trigonometric ratios that when i have two cos inverse of x i can also write that as cos inverse of 2x square minus 1 so if i use this idea i get a is equal to pi by 2 into pi by 2 minus 2 cos inverse of x i can write that as cos inverse of 2x so you get this entire thing now if i take pi and 2 on the other side i get 2a by pi which is equal to pi by 2 minus cos inverse of 2x square minus 1 so you get this entire thing and further if i try to solve it i get cos inverse of 2x square minus 1 is equal to so if I take this on the other side, 2a by pi comes on the right hand side and it becomes 
pi by 2 minus 2a by 5. So you get this as 2x square minus 1, which is equal to cos of pi by 2 minus 2a by 5. The whole thing, and we already know cos of 90 minus theta, it is nothing but equal to sine theta. So you get sine of 2a by 5. So that is the value of 2x square minus 1 here. And if you see the answer choices, we have been asked to find 2x square minus 1. And if I see the answer choices, it matches with sine of 2a by pi. So I get the same answer here as sine of 2a by pi. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve the questions using the ideas of trigonometric functions, which are in the inverse form. So first we figured out sine inverse x plus cos inverse x, which is pi by 2. And then we wrote sine inverse x also as pi by 2 minus cos inverse x. Further, we just solved that, simplified, and we got 2x square minus 1, turning out to become sine of 2a by 5, which matches with option B. So B becomes the correct answer choice for the question given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11th, 12th, as well as JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like my videos. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Also, Subscribe to my channel. See you tomorrow. Thank you.